for many children, English and mathematics is their staple diet. Um, quite often you'll find that uh, in the UK anyway, you'll have uh, those subjects taught in the morning. And uh, if there are certain children who've not met those age-related expectations, they go through an intervention program, thereby, thereby they miss out on the, the arts, the physical activity elements within school. Um, by playing the games, by taking the games into the PE hall or outside, uh, there's neuroscience involved, yeah, but um, to me it's something magical. Uh, you'll get children who are physically active and then reveal things that maybe the teacher didn't know before. So quite often the teacher who I'm co-delivering the session with will say things like, didn't know he could do that. And I'll say, well, why not? You've been teaching him for two terms. And the teacher will reply, uh, well, he's never written it in his maths book. He's never put the hand up in the maths lesson to show me that he knows that. But he has just seen a pattern that nobody else has seen before. Um, you talk to the children, those children who may be deemed reluctant learners, uh, during the sessions and after the physically active learning sessions. And you might ask them, did you enjoy that math session? And the response is, maths? You know, I thought it was PE. Um, so it, maybe it's a little bit sneaky. Maybe it's a bit uh, like maths by stealth or teaching English and spelling and phonics by stealth, but it does, it works. It gets those children who um, maybe have a fear of a certain subject and gets them involved to a level that they wouldn't normally get sat down in the classroom.